Hello lovely internet people, this is Jane Cameron from janecameron.co.uk I'm here to talk to you about the do-it-yourself frit, powder frit applicator. Okay, so there are some lovely products out there on the internet which are quite expensive, which do this automatically and in a really nice compact package. However, if you just want to be able to do little fine dots on your work, or you want to be able to draw slightly longer lines and spirally things, nothing too fancy, um, there is a cheap and quite easy way of doing it. Excuse any squeaks, there's a swivel chair. Right, here I have a biro. So I have taken out the insides, I've taken off the lid, put those away, you don't need those anymore. I've unscrewed the end, as you can see this is a very classy thing by Banner, and this one actually has a metal tip which can unscrew. So that's quite nice. If it ever gets blocked, you can do that. So I've taken this and I have filled it up with French vanilla powder for it. Okay, because that should be fairly easy for us to see. Always use your dust mask. Always wear your dust mask. I am not because it's the video, but normally I will wear it. Okay, so screw the lid on. La la la. Now, what you'll see is if I just tap it, you do get some coming out, as you see on the glass there. So I could tap it, and that would give me a certain amount of control. What you can also use, though, and the big selling point of the posh expensive one, is that you can use electricity and vibration to make this make longer lines. So, I have two options. The first one is this. Now this... is actually for buffing your nails. This is a battery powered nail buffer. Um, so this is option one, as you can see, it turns on and off with that little switch there. Option two is an Oral-B electric toothbrush. Now, this one is, has a bit more grunt, takes two AA batteries. What this one has is this bit here vibrates to and fro, which is quite fun, as compared to this, which is the buffing tool, which just goes round and round. Okay, so let's see how each of them works. So, here we have a pen full of frit. Here we have a nail buffing tool. Hold it where you want it. Whoop, don't do that. And then touch. So you can see, if I hold it more upright, If I want little dots, it's pretty easy. If I want a line, spiral. So you can see I'm having to use two hands There we go. It's not the fanciest of things, but it does work. Okay, so next up, the electric toothbrush. Now, Touch it to the barrel of your pen. Turn it the other way up. Touch it to the barrel of the pen. Which gives you, you might say, your high-powered option. Look at the difference in those lines. Let me just turn that off. Fine line, thicker line. Depending on if you use the flat part, which I use for the heavier lines, because that gives more active vibrations through the pen, or the rounded side, which gives a fairly gentle vibration. Obviously with this, turn it on, and I'm just touching it to the pen when I want to use the pen, so I can put the pen where I want it, like so. So as you can see, it's a lot less controllable, because it's two units, not one, but... As a proof of concept, it's not bad. Turn it to the gentle side, and you can do... ...leaves, or... ...bigger dots. Flat 
flat petals. So as you can see, this, which is a pen and electric toothbrush, does give you a fair amount of controllability as compared to the way you could have done it previously, which was just tapping it. And it gives you those long lines, which are the wonderful thing about having an electric pad tool is that it just goes on and on. So, I am now going to attempt, in my next video, attaching this to the electric toothbrush and to the nail polish, nail polisher, to see what sort of lines I can get out of them when they're actually attached to each other and see how that goes. So, you want to find out more? Visit janecameron.co.uk or find me on YouTube. Thank you!